sunny Saturday afternoon and we're going to do a little bit of apple and pear harvesting today. It's the last of the nice weather that's forecast for today. Tomorrow it's naff, wet and windy, even thunderstorms. So we thought we'd get some of our apples in today and our invincible pear. So I'm showing you what we're going to try and pick. So apples, we have these uh, what we think are golden delicious. Then moving round, this tree has lots of fiesta apples. We're going to pick our invincible pears which have been falling off over the last few days. You can see that one down there just in the shade. So we're going to have those off as well. And if I take you round here, we're also going to see what we can do with our Egremont russets. Again, lots have fallen off through the week, so we'll see how many of those look like decent apples, and we'll get off as many as we can. Just came down to harvest a few of our outdoor tomatoes, and it's pretty clear to me that these have been struck by blight. So what I think I'm going to do is take off any any that aren't affected by blight. If I take these two off here, there, look at the top of that one, that's definitely blight. So I'm going to take off any clean tomatoes, take them home to store see what we get off them. don't know quite how far it's spread. It's obviously got right down to the other end of this cold frame. See these tomatoes most well, certainly been affected by blight. So I'm going to get off all the unaffected ones now take them home, hope we can keep them okay and ripen them at home. All we've really done today is a bit of watering and then harvesting, isn't it? We haven't mm, I fed, I fed the strawberries. Oh yeah, but I'm counting that as And watering. I fed the leeks as well and those ochre or oak or whatever they're called. So our harvesting, we'll start with apples. We've harvested most of our Egremont russets. 11 kilograms. Fiesta mostly, there's still a few left. Another 11 kilograms. A rather extremely large haul of invincible pears. The pear trees sort of breathed a sigh of relief, yeah. didn't it? And it's um, gone more upright. 24 kilograms in there. We can't lift it, that's the trouble. We don't know how we're going to get that to the we car. We can if we both yes, lift it's it. A double lifter. I think the box might collapse though. Um, Crown Prince yeah poor season yeah they are I mean that's incredibly small for a Crown Prince just been a duff year hasn't it I mean even this one that's about what we'd call average yeah, isn't it average we'd usually get bigger than that yeah. as well yeah but that's all we've managed to get I mean in many ways it'll probably be alright for us because if you get one that's too big, you end up not being able to use it all yeah. at once and we freeze a lot, don't we? We do. Our safari beans, very productive. Yeah, they are. Three punnets. And there's still lots to come, isn't there, if they manage there to are. There carry are some on producing. There small ones, but I've picked them quite small anyway because yeah. they were really nice the last lot, weren't they? They were. All gold raspberries are still going and there's a few Joe and Jay. So apple oddments and our only um, pear, Delsan. Delsan 
are only one compared to the 24 kilograms of Invincible. A couple of cauliflowers, one's blown but I think there's a bit of useful stuff just in the middle. Clapton and one that is alright. We've a bucket with a few, few more Fiesta apples in. And then because our tomatoes outdoors are showing signs of blight, I've picked all the ones that look okay. That one doesn't, that one can go get thrown away. And we'll try and ripen those at home. There's some ripe ones on yeah, the other side. A, sort of half a bucket of ripe ones from outside there. Not a bad harvest today. Not no. done anything else though, but and very little else. All we have to do now is get it in the car. And us. <laughs> yeah. Will there be room for us? Might have to have us in to get home. Well, one of us at least. Yeah. And I guess that's going to be you. Yeah, because this car's awkward. It has gears and things. <laughs> right. What, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Let's get it all in the car then. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.